Hey everyone, it's Heather here at Lars, and today we're going to do a little update for you on the seven macaws that we rescued that are in a pretty terrible shape. So I wanted to uh, kind of show you guys how the veterinary appointment went, and we'll continue to give you updates as much as possible. You guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned, and please remember to hit that subscribe button. almost every red light down here. All right, guys, we made it. Um, this baby right here, we're gonna definitely be getting checked out. This is the bird that we could not um, get into a carrier for the ride, but she did really great on the lap of my volunteer. All right, so we talked about Mickey a little bit already. Uh -huh. Right. Um, and so does she have the most concerns, would yes. you say? Uh -huh. yeah. Yep, absolutely. All right. So then, I think uh -huh. we'll just go to, how long have you had them? Uh, two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Just, uh -huh. just a little Very, bit. very recent. Okay. So we'll hold on for husbandry. Uh -huh. um, well, let's call you Macaw uh -huh. number two. Who yeah. do we have uh -huh. down here? Uh -huh. So, um, this one, oh. again, oh. it's the, oh. the anorexia that yeah. we're already having tons of fun or what. Oh. Um, you know, obviously the anorexia we're having a problem oh. with. Sure. I can tell you that oh. every single one of these birds has been eating like a horse. Good. Since Good. they've been oh. with us. So, oh. I don't really, like, I don't really know what's going on. You know, some of the birds that are in the other room actually have some other different concerns as well. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I mean, other than, other than the anorexia in that one, I'm trying to kind of get a better look. Yeah. Some bird, some feather plucking, of course. Okay. Well, I mean, that's kind of to be expected. Who knows how long that's been going on. Right. Well, Okay, so that's one through three. Did you want to go in the other room and talk about those kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, because one of those green ones over there, I actually uh -huh. have some concerns about. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll head over to the other room. All right. Yeah, we're going to move. <laughs> You're okay. It's not moving far. Yeah. There you go. Scarlet number two. All right. Uh, looks like a burst air sac on the back of the, back of the back. Okay. It's transparent, like you can see it like in the light. Um, obviously I want you guys to take a look at it and see. But, uh, it, sh it just looks like a burst air sac to me. So the other two are green wings. Um, the one on top here, the concerns that I have, and I, one of them may not be a concern at all, um, on the right foot, the back right toe, it's swollen on the end, and gosh, you are showing off so mm -hmm. much right now. <laughs> um, so that toe is swollen on the tip of the toe. Mm -hmm. Um, the nail is ridiculously thick, like the whole oh, nail. Sorry. Maybe got like, yeah, it looks like a past injury. Um, the other thing that I have a concern about with that bird is that it's got a lump next to its cloaca. Okay. Well, hello. Hold on. Wanna step up for me? We're gonna do screening blood work on you already. Yeah, see if you have any liver problems or anything. Yes. You good bird? Definitely not feeling well. Do you think we'll be able to perch on our scale? Uh, I think so. I think okay. this bird really likes perching. Oh. 
Here you go. Good job. Excellent. Eight. Eight forty, we'll say. Sore. Yeah, is that wing a little more sore? You know, it's a possibility as well that this is a very older bird and we just don't know. Yeah. No ages, no names, no nothing. There you go, good job. Let's take a look at that toe for a video here, okay? Yep. <laughs> I know, you just want to step up. Just a you? little weird. But you know what? You're a little weird and you're cool that way. <laughs> yeah, you can see where we them and broke them. Good range of motion. Good job. Uh-huh. I need my thumb. Thank you. You may not have your thumb. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is really fun, fun information here. So we just found out, and now this scarlet is actually in back right now. They're doing some additional testing. They're doing an x-ray to make sure that uh, the lump on that bird's back isn't anything to be concerned of. But we actually have a birth year, and we have a place where this macaw came from. So this macaw was actually born in the year 1991, and it came from Florida. So it's always super duper helpful when we can have a little bit of background on the bird. And uh, that information came right from the band on its legs. So yes, we have information. So the goal is that we're going to cauterize it mm -hmm. and cut it at the same time Okay. to try to keep it really open long enough to get the scar down. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, I don't know what the bottom goal is going to be, but okay. And obviously, I'm going to avoid these blood vessels. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and we're nice and flat now. Oh, awesome. Very, very cool. All done with us now? Yes, all done with us. Let's put you back. Let's put you back. All done. There's a walnut in there. Wait. I know that's gone, but I don't know. It's missing that one. I know. I told my mom to keep my dad's number. And let go. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, you gotta be a good bird. I'm the best bird. the vet office yesterday after almost four hours of seeing these babies and getting them taken care of what we can tell you at this point is that uh, two of them are on antibiotics and four of them are on painkillers we are waiting on blood work to come back we did do some testing for zinc toxicity and so across your fingers hope and pray that these guys don't have that and that our initial gut instinct was wrong uh, however we will need continued support if these guys do have heavy metal toxicity that's going to be a whole other treatment plan and we definitely need to get these guys taken care of 
Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you guys want to donate to help these birds, we will need continuing veterinary care for them. You can donate either via Venmo. Uh, our handle is at Lars Sheboygan. You can also donate via our website and I'm sticking that up right on the bottom there for you guys. And just want to let you know also, if you ever have any questions about any birds or reptiles, definitely feel free to reach out either via Facebook or via email. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Yeah.